Now, Thomas Jefferson, one of the greatest of the founding fathers, because we say the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is a hater. Farrakhan, he's a hater. They hate, they hate white people because they want to separate. Because I don't want to, li- I don't want to live next to you, and you're beating me to death. So I'm a hater. Okay. But since we love what they say and take what they say as truth, let's hear what Thomas Jefferson has to say about separation. These are his notes from, and you can go to the University of Chicago Library and go to their website, just pull this up, Google it. It's it's, uh, chapter 15 of a very lengthy writing. Uh, Jefferson was a prolific writer. He was also a statutory rapist. How many, how many white people you know named Jefferson? Whose last name is Jefferson? Not many. How many black people named Jefferson? Jackson, Johnson, Adams, Washington. Think about it. Now look, he writes here because he is, in his weak mind, he's doing his best to try to save us because he knows that the institution of slavery and the slave trade are condemning America to destruction. So this is in 1784. We've been here a little over 200 years at this time. We came in 1555. We had been in the Caribbean and the Western Hemisphere even prior to that. But we came to these shores, 1555. Now the school books say 1619. Jamestown, Jamestown was the first uh, settlement they were able to sustain. Okay, not the first one they ever had. Now, here's Jefferson. To emancipate all slaves born after passing this act. This bill does not itself contain this proposition, but an amendment to it. Now, here's where he he gives you the content of this law that he's trying to get passed. He says, they should continue to their parents to a certain age, then be brought up at the public expense to tillage, which is agriculture, arts or sciences, according to their geniuses, till the females are 18 and the males 21 years of age, when they should be colonized to such place as the circumstances of the time should render most proper, sending them out, he's talking about the slave population, with arms, implements of household, handicraft arts, seeds, pairs of useful domestic animals and declare them a free and independent people and extend to them our alliance and protection till they have acquired strength. We of course know that bill did not pass. He writes here, and if someone could get me the final call please, I'm gonna read number four of the Muslim program. Because there are those of our people that think something's wrong with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, thank you, sir, for the Muslim program. Now, this is Jefferson in 1784. Now, look at this. He says, some will ask, well, why not just retain and incorporate the blacks into the state and save the expense of supplying, now listen at this, supplying by importation of white settlers the vacancies they'll leave. So the plan was to bring in as many white people as black people are being sent out. Now, look at this. Here's, here's Jefferson answering the opponents. Who, why, why are we gonna spend all this money? Giving black people and giving them arms and food. Now, we put in 200 years by now. Now look at what his answer is. Deep-rooted prejudice entertained by whites, 10,000 recollections by blacks of the injuries they have sustained. So he's going into the mindset of each of the two people. White people with their deep-seated prejudice toward us and our memory, which no matter how much we try to escape it, of their injuries to us is always there. Then he goes on to say, new provocations like when a white cop shoots a black teenager in the street. See, it never stops. There's always a fresh experience to show the futility of these two people trying to merge 
outside of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, a couple of others, and even that's in turmoil, this doesn't work. Now, he goes on to say, many circumstances will divide us into parties and produce convulsions, which will never end but in the extermination of one or the other race. Let me say that again. He says this ain't going nowhere except the extermination of one or the other race.